the Department of Social Development has launched a national emergency response team known as NERT to provide face-to-face -face psychosocial support to victims of violence and other disasters around South Africa. The team, which became operational on a pilot basis in early 2016, seeks to assist individuals, families and communities directly after a traumatic incident occurs. In a country where the prevalence of gender-based violence and violence against women and children is high, the department has chosen to focus strongly on helping those affected by this trauma. In addition, the team offers support to those impacted by natural and man-made disasters such as major vehicle accidents and the Nigerian church collapse tragedy. The purpose then of the National Emergency Response Team is to mitigate the impact by intervening right at the impact phase, right after disaster strikes or violence took place. The core functions of NERS is to ensure that they intervene immediately when the crime has been committed and also to ensure that they provide the counselling for a period of three days and thereafter to hand over to our provincial coordinators who will continue with the psychosocial support. We all know that uh, people, when they come across trauma and loss, we have a specific way of grieving and it is very important that we intervene at an impact stage just to minimize the risk of someone being dangerous to him or herself. We had two incidences in, in Northern Cape, um, one in Kimberley where a young girl was um, found hanging at a graveyard. And then the second incident um, is the incident of a young boy that um, was stabbed to death in Yankerdo while he was trying to save the mother from being raped. In the VEP field generally, we've got a challenge of um, the shortage of VEP professionals, that is people that are dedicated. In most instances, we, we challenge with the fact that we don't have VEP people at a grassroots level that are ready to respond to these incidences when they happen. We've learned that the rapid response was the best thing to do because the conventional way of doing things is that clients will come to you where you are as a service provider. But for us it was business unusual because we're a mobile office, if I can put it that way. We are the ones that were traveling to actually locate where the clients are, provide the psychosocial services or the trauma counseling in that private space, which is something that we have never done before. NERT's interventions can be divided into four categories. Category A addresses primary victims directly affected by the trauma. Category B addresses indirect victims such as school and university students and communities as a whole. Category C includes ad hoc interventions around high-profile cases of violence such as the Marikana massacre and disasters and accidents such as the Nigerian church collapse. These interventions include training and capacity development and debriefing of social workers and other frontline officials experiencing severe trauma in the field. And category D which includes proactive preventative interventions such as NERT's work at Rhodes University following protests about rape on campus. We started it as a pilot. Our, our primary focus was on the victims of violence against women and children. So we've dealt with a number of cases during our piloting phase where we've picked up that a victim has never accessed services as far as trauma counseling is concerned. We'll then deploy the team that would literally go there and provide that uh, counseling and then refer once they are done. When arriving at a scene of, of gender-based violence, our primary focus is psychosocial support. It is to support the victim, direct victims and indirect victims of gender-based violence, getting them stabilized and giving them the necessary support so that they can come to terms with what happens and also so that they can be empowered to, to, to face the challenge, also then to link them with the necessary and the relevant people so that they can concentrate on the long-term psychosocial support and counseling with the victims. And we, we just envision 
who will be impacted by this incident and who will need the psychosocial support assistance and then we target those groups. We went into the university and we tried to give psychosocial support to the victims of gender-based violence, but also we convened dialogues on the university to make students aware of sexual offences and the rights of victims of gender-based violence. For instance, we met with the university management so that we can establish in terms of legal procedures and the university's policies, is that in line with um, what government policy is saying in terms of how victims of gender-based violence should be treated and how perpetrators of gender-based violence should be dealt with um, at the university. NERD's pilot phase has also involved interventions following man-made disasters, such as the Katlehong bus accident in April 2016, which killed 10 ANC supporters in the Free State. The ANC bus accident was said to be a national agency, which we were called to intervene. So part of the difficulties in our intervention was also to go to the families while they were still confused and not knowing what exactly has happened, but at the same time make sure that we're there to minimize and harmonize you know, their emotions and give support when they needed it most. After the accident, they, 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 they got feel like depressed. They, like, I was even feeling like I could commit suicide because like, they feel like I like, have son of pain, I can't tell how to go. Then, I think the day after the accident happened, what I was talking about, then I was talking the social worker, then I was talking about the I think it matters if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I feel that I want to know, like, I'm coming down, like, I feel like, yeah. The community now, like they can touch, they can feel us, you know, unlike when you just say, a department, a day very far. But the way we are operating, we are, we are very close to the people. So it's like we are really, really taking the service to the community right at a, at a ward level. And that's what um, the, the most of the victims are appreciating, uh, that we can actually be there, you know, at their face. The National Emergency Response Team is a professional service, but it's also a service from the heart. Um, we believe that the department and the government should also be there at the, the darkest hour of people to make them realize that they are being cared for, that they are being assisted in a very specific way, in a situation that they are not able to deal with on their own.